Okay, here's a confession. I am obsessed on finding the optimal solution for my electronic gears. In fact, I think I have spent way too much time, uh, money on finding that solution. Um, I'm just caring about it way too much than a normal person should. Take keyboards as an example. In the past six or seven years, I have owned at least 14 different keyboards. I mean, I actually owned them and used them for an extended period of time. It's not like I'm a professional reviewer. I just take a keyboard and review it and then just throw it away. I actually used them for a long time, at least several months. In fact, I still have quite some of them hanging around at my home. Um, you can see some of them here. Um, and uh, of course, I've sold most of those that I didn't like. This search eventually ended about one and a half years ago when I think I indeed found my best solution. And that is the Lenovo ThinkPad TrackPoint Keyboard 2. Before I jump into the details of the keyboard, let me first share with you uh, my usage of keyboard. In a user research term, it basically means what is the persona I belong to. I mainly use my keyboard for four things. Documentation, I write a lot of documents actually. Uh, and the coding, uh, that's part of my job. Then I play quite some games. One of my favorite games is uh, Overwatch. Uh, if you know that game, it's an uh, it's, uh, online competitive game that uh, it's fast paced and you are competing with other players. So it has quite high requirement for your keyboard. And then the fourth thing is, as you can guess, uh, video editing. So that's, that's the four major usage of my keyboard. Another requirement I have is that I prefer the short keyboard. Uh, I don't want those long full-size keyboard. Uh, that was actually not always the case. I remember in my college, I actually prefer the long one. Uh, I just think it have every single key there are out there. So, so why not give that full one with all the function on it? Like there's no reason to get the trimmed down one that uh, some keys are missing, right? Um, so that's, that's where I was when I was in college. But then after joining workforce, uh, one of the company I worked in, uh, they care a lot about employees sort of work health. And uh, they actually hired a bunch of uh, uh, professional ergonomics contractors to check our working environment. I also got a session with one of those uh, contractors. And uh, uh, when the contractor came over, I told her that uh, I am having some trouble with my wrist not feeling comfortable when I use the mouse for an extended period of time. And she looked at my desk and she said, okay, you need to change your keyboard. So at that time I have this Apple Magic Keyboard, that's the long one, full size. And uh, um, she told me that uh, to use this keyboard, you have to like put your hand further away from your body to use the mouse and that actually produces significantly more stress on your wrist. That's why you need to use the shorter one. Um, so I changed it to the shorter magic keyboard and that actually solved the problem. I can use the, um, the mouse much longer without too much trouble with my wrist. Since then, I have been only looking for short keyboards. Okay, let's jump into the review of the Lenovo keyboard. And here I want to use a structure that uh, mainly focusing on uh, how the designs of the keyboard actually solves those needs, those requirements that I've talked about earlier. The ThinkPad TrackPoint Keyboard 2 retails at $100, which puts it uh, at the premium keyboard level. The package though definitely doesn't show that. This brown box looks more like a replacement part that was shipped from the manufacturer. What's inside the box is also very simple. This is just a charging cable and a keyboard. That's it. Let's take a look at the keyboard. So the keyboard feels very solid. Um, there's no flex, well, a little bit, but it definitely feels very sturdy. Uh, it has two legs that you can pull out and uh, make it uh, stand up in a little angle, um, which uh, I use most of the time. Uh, there is a dongle here 
uh, good thing that they actually put a holder here so you can actually put the USB receiver inside and take the whole thing as one piece and there's a USB-C charging port um, the neat thing about this keyboard is that first of all it's a short keyboard it doesn't have the number pad it doesn't have all those like extra keys uh, which is exactly what I was looking for uh, I need a keyboard to be as compact as possible the key typing feels very good uh, there is pretty much no flex on the keyboard and the travel distance is very decent uh, if you have ever used um, ThinkPad laptops you probably have heard that uh, uh, ThinkPad actually makes one of the best keyboards on their laptop and this definitely carries over that keyboard quality so uh, there's really nothing to complain about regarding the key typing fields the keyboard layout is also very good uh, you have all the basic functions like uh, volume, uh, multi mic brightness on the top so you can access them very easily one other keyboard layout design I really appreciate about this keyboard is that uh, uh, the function key and the left control key location you can see um, this function key is uh, on the very left and uh, followed by the control left control key most Windows PC actually have control key here and the function key here and this one actually matches uh, Apple computers the, the MacBook uh, keyboard layout which is great because as I have mentioned earlier I have to switch between my work MacBook and my personal Windows PC so this design basically makes the keyboard location the key location uh, very consistent when I switch between the, the system a really unique integration this keyboard has is the checkpoint if you have ever used uh, the ThinkPad notebooks you are probably familiar with this uh, this is basically a mouse uh, you push it to a certain direction to move the mouse and these three are the left right and uh, the center button of the mouse um, so this is actually a great invention um, unfortunately it's only available on ThinkPad notebooks and probably Fujitsu notebooks well at least uh, in the earlier days they have this I don't know if they still have it um, this is actually pretty precise uh, if you get get used to it it's very easy to use and uh, the control is actually better than trackpad well at least uh, in my experience now you might not really find this checkpoint integration being too compelling because this is a desktop keyboard and uh, with that you usually have your mouse here to use so uh, why do you even need this uh, I, I actually agree this is uh, sort of convenient sometimes because uh, uh, it's occasionally better than mouse because you can just uh, your hands doesn't need to leave the keyboard and you can use it to like control the mouse and do the clicks uh, so that's sort of convenient but still uh, I do feel mouse is easier to use than this uh, what really makes this shine is the other function in this keyboard that is it has two types of a connection it can connect through the RF radio frequency um, I think it's 2.4 gigahertz connection through this uh, this receiver um, and the other function is it can connect through Bluetooth if you just push this little thing to the other side it can connect to Bluetooth and that really opens up the value of checkpoint because now you can use Bluetooth to connect it to your mobile device for example if you have a cell phone or a pad that doesn't have a keyboard case you can actually connect that to this keyboard and it functions as both keyboard and mouse it's a full set and it makes typing some document the productivity type of work much easier I actually use this with my phone quite a bit mainly for replying messages in uh, text message and in WeChat because those apps it's very difficult to access those on my computer so I would rather just do them in my phone directly um, and it's very easy right just switch this over and it will connect to my phone and I do all the things and uh, I have the mouse control too 
which makes text editing much easier. And then when I'm done, I just switch it back. And then I will be able to connect back to my computer and start to use it again on my computer. So that, that's really convenient. Now back to the connection. Remember I mentioned that this one also has the RF connection through this USB receiver, this one. Uh, this is also very important to me because uh, remember I mentioned earlier, I have to uh, switch back and forth between two computers, my personal one and my uh, work one. But both of them need to be connected to the same keyboard and also same mouse, uh, same screen. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I am actually connecting all these keyboard uh, monitor to a KVM switch. So just one button click, it will switch between the two computers. And uh, to make that happen, I needed to have a USB connection. That's why USB uh, RF is very important to me. And also uh, another reason why I prefer the RF comparing to the, the uh, uh, Bluetooth connection is that the Bluetooth in, is, a, is a general uh, connection method. Uh, it's general, that means it have a lot of, uh, it needs to be compatible with a lot of different things. Like, as you know, it can connect to mouse, connect to your headphone, connect to uh, many other things. So that also makes it uh, not ideal in the performance and delay. Bluetooth usually have a worse delay comparing to these type of dedicated connection, uh, the RF connection. Um, and remember, I actually play games, especially those, those uh, uh, very competitive games that requires a very low latency. And that's why RF is actually providing value here. Um, now, this is not a gaming keyboard, and this connection is also, I believe, not as good as those uh, dedicated uh, wireless gaming keyboards, like those uh, uh, Logitech ones. But this is good enough. Uh, I'm using this with uh, Overwatch, and I really don't feel delays on this, this thing. And uh, um, I'm totally satisfied with it when playing games. Now you might have a question. This keyboard looks like new. I told you earlier that I have uh, used this for almost two years. Well, uh, you're right, this is a new one. Uh, this is actually a new one I bought recently. I plan to use it in my office when, uh, when we are ready to go back to office. This, this one, is what I have been used for two years. And you can see it's sort of, uh, there are some wears on it, um, especially these keys. I guess if you play uh, first person shooter games, you know why. So th there are, those letters are starting to like being weared off. But overall, other than this cosmetic sense, there's really nothing to complain about this one after even two years. It's still working as good as it was new and uh, the keys are still functioning and uh, very responsive. It's just awesome. It's, uh, it's very durable. And I would say it can still last quite several years. Now the downside of this keyboard um, one is, as I mentioned, those keys can be more dur durable. I mean, those letters can be more durable. Uh, it looks like they are just printed on it. So after a while, they can be worn off. Uh, the other thing that I would love it to have is a uh, uh, backlight of the keys. This one doesn't have any backlight, um, so, but it's always nice to have. Well, uh, I won't say it's really that important because most of the time I have uh, my lights on. I don't like type in the complete darkness. But you know, someone might find it useful. Other than that, I really don't think I have any other complaints on this keyboard. It's an awesome keyboard. Uh, it, the feel of typing is great. Um, it's very sturdy and the connection is great. Um, 
I really love this keyboard and that's why I actually bought the second one. And uh, uh, after using all those keyboards I've showed you earlier, I think this is the best one I would recommend to anyone. Again, the keyboard is uh, retailing at uh, $100, but in reality, you can actually very often find it on sale on Lenovo for something like $80. So it's really not too expensive considering how good of a keyboard it is. Um, and uh, I guess that's all I want to talk about this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful. And uh, let me know if you have any question down in the uh, comment area. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I'll see you next time.